What have you devoted countless hours to that now seems futile? I spent the last few years of my life welding. At the school I go to sends us out on job placement senior year. I've been to school twice a week and going to work the rest. I am a pretty good welder state competitor for my age group though I'm leaving with no certifications. I haven't had time between two jobs, school, homework and my social life. Every time I've welded a passable test to send out, my instructor deny it. I wasted so much of my time for so little. Having no certifications doesn't mean no job, but being a young, inexperienced girl does. Those certs would have helped. Buying a house. It's kind of been like the one thing that I've thought to myself as long as I can get a house. I can handle everything else. A profession, no one values or respects. My wife and I are both in senior corporate positions and have a sub $160,000 combined salary. And the cheapest townhome in our area is anywhere from $800,000 and up. Yeah, yeah. Never say never and all, but it's hard not to feel a little defeated here. Digital art, specifically, 3D modeling, and creating scenes using programs like Blender and Photoshop. I only do it as a hobby, and I still love to learn stuff and improve my skills. That being said, the last year has hammered home that the democratization of art via AI will likely shatter any remote hopes I ever had of becoming acknowledged. It's disheartening to be so easily replaceable by prompt regurgitators. I have tried for hours and hours with remote viewing to somehow silence Putin and his friends. However, he has a similar protection to many others before him. Yes, I know, and realize it sounds weird, but I would so much like to change the world to something truly good, so I guess I must be a little weird, but it's not worse than those who commit murderous genocide anyway. Going over past events and imagining me saying, or doing different things I now think would have been better. Like standing up for myself against school bullies from 40 years ago. Or old work managers who embarrassed me. I go as far as physically saying responses to 20-year-old statements or arguments. I just can't seem to live in the present or imagine a future. Anxiety. I am now on Zoloft and I wish I'd have started it 10 years ago. I can never get back the time spent anxious dreading everything, worrying, panicking, and what ifing. I can't even try to be anxious. It works so well. I've made a lot of life changes the last year, and I feel like I'm living for me again. Didio gains. Hundreds of hours with nothing to show for it except fun experiences, so not a total waste. Second guess is drinking. It's bad for your health. Wallet and at the end of the day I've just been pissing people off for getting huge portions of my life not progressing where I need to be progressing. I spent a good chunk of high school planning to go to a specific school, paid for, and then forgot to include the single crucial piece of information on my application that would guarantee my entry. Whoops. Ended up settling at the school local to me because they were willing to take me in last second. Went to school for 2D animation, I just want to make cartoons. Following Disney into 3D, WB completely fucking their animation debt. An AI. It feels pointless to spend the effort trying to improve to get an animation job after I get home from my current lane job. 1000 Basketball. Started playing seriously in sixth grade and got to the point where I was in talks with multiple mid-major schools. Then in 11th grade my knee decided to fuck me in back-to-back -back years. After that I just stopped playing. I haven't touched a basketball in years now. My MP3 collection. I used to spend hour and hours downloading, cataloging and naming my MP3s. All the file names were perfect for arranging and the ordering of the tracks. With Spotify I don't need them. The hard drive with them died and I didn't have a backup. I don't care. Six months of dedicated Vipassana meditation. What's wrong with meditating? Nothing. But they don't tell you when you're supposed to stop LL. I'd have the same benefit if I'd only done it five days. But ironically, I was massively hooked on the cult-like experience. I spent the summer building a complex retro-futuristic art deco city in Minicraft. 
I made around 32 buildings, roads, tunnels, bridges, etc. Barely slept. I was very proud of it, but I think the hard drive failed and lost my countless hours of work. Raid Dead Online. It was super fun, and I got real invested in the character I made for it. And I hung out on a forum with the other guys who played a Dio and traded memes and fanart and shit. Then Rockstar abandoned it and everyone stopped posting. The answer is my ex. She desperately wants to get back together so much that she vacillates between being sweet and being mean. Tells you all you should need to know about who was taking advantage of whom in that relationship. I spent way way too much time invested into a live action role playing game. I mean 5-6 hours to 4 Saturdays a month plus email communication. And I did this for over 10 years. More dedicated at some points than at others. Past video games, specifically games like Animal Crossing where you grind and grind for that one character, designing that area of your island, etc. But now I don't play it all anymore. Hundreds of hours gone to waste, trying and failing to learn to read and play music. It is great for some people, but it would slip out of my brain like it was greased five seconds after I tried to take a break. Completing video games, 100. It dawned on me about five years ago that a new one comes out and no one gives a fuck if I found all the feathers in Assassin's Creed and neither do I. I joined the military and spent two years learning a language I never wanted to know and basically no one speaks. I got out six years ago and have forgotten almost all of it. Chess. Over the years I've played countless games and puzzles and have studied some theory. But I'm still a crappy player and my rating remains almost always the same. Colouring in manga as a hobby. Not only did it destroy my wrist but most people whom I shared it with didn't even like it. So much energy and time wasted. Went to Kalash for psychology in the hopes of being a homicide detective one day. But now I'm a quality engineer in the automotive industry. Help. Bringing together people of opposing faiths for the sake of peace and harmony. They just hate each other so much. It's hard to be the mediator. World of Warcraft. My playtime must be astronomical, but since I have a habit of creating and deleting alts, I have no idea what my total is. Modding games. Seriously spending two days downloading, sorting, and configuring mods just for you to lost motivation to play them sucks. My ex makes me wonder what I would have done with those three years if it wasn't spent going through so much unnecessary pain and torment. My YouTube channel. A little over a year now. And getting near 250 subs. Work. It's all bullshit. Watching lots of workmates dot retire and die. I'm retiring now I wanna enjoy it dot not bloody get sick and die. Trying to better myself in the hope that I would seem worth being intimately close to so that I might feel loved by people I love. Overthinking like come on the brain stop being mean. Oh I'm sorry for talking back to you brain. Okay now I'm sad, lols. My degree in marketing. That degree has nothing to do with my current job. I never worked in marketing after my internship. Shiny hunting rock rough only to see it only gets own tempo in the wild. Thanks to those high ass motherfuckers at Game Freak. Rocket League. But only as a ground player, I got good enough to hit diamond without any aerial skills whatsoever. Watching anime. Point less it wasted countless thousands of hours of my life. Created my bad habits etc. I clicked on this thread to see an ad for Final Fantasy XIV online. And that just answered for me. LOL. Definitely college. Got ABS in Compass CI. Then BSMS in Analytics. Currently a project manager. For me I got ABS in biochemistry. Then drove a forklift for 14 years. Now I'm an electrician. My Minecraft world from the early days back in 2012. Still play it. Errors and everything. Gaming dot 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 dot. In the grand scheme of things. But I still have fun. And I think it's worth it. Studying point six year career in electrical engineering. Now I just solve tickets for IT. I've done a lot of art animations. But now with AI it feels a lot more meaningless. My scuba instructor and personal trainer certifications. 
I can't live on 1099s. Perfecting my voicemail message. If it only known how useless it would become. Anyone that spent a ton of time learning PowerShell. Good luck with that now. I probably spent tens of thousands of hours on Minecraft servers growing up. Living, I guess. Retirement and being comfortable ain't gonna happen. The Mormon church. It's a black hole of sacrifice of all kinds. LOL my 16 year marriage my divorce was finalized in December. I seem to be on level for 1800 on Candy Crush for some reason. Any IT educations and certifications. Outdates very fast. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Reddit, video games, anime. 1,500 hours of a game just to get banned for boosting.